My name is Dave Knuster. I'm a National Science Foundation postdoctoral fellow in the Microbiology and Molecular Genetics Department at Michigan State University. My research lies at the intersection of computer science and biology. On the one hand, I take ideas from biology and apply those to challenging problems in computer science. And on the other hand, I build computer systems that help us to understand uh, evolutionary biology as it occurs in nature. By building evolving systems in a computer, we can actually start to unpack how the process of evolution works. I'm Shu Kai Chen, a professor in electrical engineering and computer science at Syracuse University. And my focus is on computer security. A lot of our research at Syracuse in cybersecurity is exactly the foundations of how systems can be built in a trustworthy fashion. I am Joaquin Espinosa, an associate professor at the University of Colorado. In cancer treatment, we are moving from a shock and awe strategy to an intelligent drone type of strategy. Not two patients are alike when it comes to their tumors. The tumors are flesh of their own flesh, therefore they are unique. We need to acknowledge that uniqueness. My name is Brandon Gibb and I'm a professor of psychology at Binghamton University. What we're studying right now is risk for depression in kids. We're really trying to figure out why kids are at such risk for depression and what we can do about it. We look at environmental factors, we look at genetic factors, we look at interpersonal, intrapersonal factors, and we're trying to figure out how all of these things combine together to really um, increase risk. My name is Duncan Lorimer. I am an associate professor of physics at West Virginia University, and I am an astronomer. I look at a particular type of star called a pulsar and these are the collapsed cores of exploded stars that have undergone a supernova explosion. Once we find them, then the fun begins, um, because we can use them to, to probe the physics of their environment. I'm constantly reminding my colleagues, uh, students that I mentor, that there is uh, another aspect to research, and that is making sure that what we do is relevant to society. But that's basic research. The, the, the fruits of that labor are a long way off yet. So we, we have a very multidisciplinary approach. And in these days, when, uh, when people are looking at multidisciplinary aspects, you know, we're, we're as good as it gets. The amount of investment that it takes to have an, a huge um, impact on society, it, it, it's a great trade-off. We're not only um, answering important societal questions, we're also training the next generation of scientists. People who ask questions, want to you know, apply the scientific method to uh, find the answers. And most of that people are in our universities in the academic setting. I know there are easier ways to make a dollar, but there are very few ways to make as big a difference. <laughs>